Hello my friends, welcome into episode 4. Not gonna have the fanciest of intros for you, we're actually gonna, I'm gonna make the, uh, the first episode's intro, um, with the, with the heavy beat, kind of the series intro for episodes where I don't have something else planned. I just wanna kinda let you know that, um, I had a, a, a uh, unfortunately, a, a funeral visitation to go to, um, this past weekend, and... That impacted my ability to obviously put together something fancy for you. So I know you understand that, and I'm, I'm not trying to elicit sympathy or anything like that. I just want to explain, because I feel like the first three episodes had really on-point intros. So I'm going to try and keep that up as time allows. The other thing I didn't do with episode three, which I should have done, was to set a like target. Um, because we've gotten about less than 50% uh, of the likes of episode one and two on that episode so if you could go back to episode three and hit the like button i'd like to get each episode to like 150 if we could do that that you you cannot understand how motivating that is as a creator so that's what's going on there we do have some new patrons to give a shout out to um peter doyle and coming back to us from um, i'm sorry i've got my phone here um to the patronage uh guintadas ice Rodas. thanks for coming back man and thanks for understanding me butchering your name. Uh, great episode in for uh, you guys to watch today. I hope you enjoy it. Let's roll the intro, and we'll see you soon. If you're wondering, it's like, what is this MLS stuff? It, I'm, I'm trying to get my U.S. men's national team saved to the World Cup. It's just taking a long time to get there. So that's, I'm just, I'm recording at the, okay, you understand. See ya. Also, getting to the, the the last two patrons that just joined gets us to 50 and gets us over the $300 a month, the $302 a month currently mark. I do want to, if, if it is something that you're interested in, don't let that stop you just because the goal is 50 by the end of the year and to get to 300 a month because there's usually two or three people whose cards decline and stuff like that. But if we can get there by the end of the month um, and, and all the charges go through and all that kind of stuff, in the fantasy Premier League thing we got going on as a community, I'm going to donate ten dollars in the most points generated in November. Whoever did that, because uh, I've got that the screenshot saved from the end of October. So whoever generated the most points in November, I'll donate ten bucks in their name to Charity Water. So just thought I'd point that out. Hello, my friends. Welcome into episode four, and I need to turn on my lamp. And I'm a professional YouTuber, my friends. I do want to say. Thanks for the massive support on the save. We're getting right into it today. Not a whole lot of, um, I won't say paperwork, but uh, updates to give you, but a couple things. Uh, Stefano Scapini, um, fourth best odds for top goal scorer in the league and fifth best odds for uh, top player. Um, we also had Lunetta, our wink left wing back, as second best odds for top player. And um, I just thought this was I, kind of interesting because the, the new um, code of conduct, conduct system that I showed you, um, Labuti has agreed to his one day fine for the yellow card suspension. But I noticed down here, I was like, wow, that's like, that's fast. But it's, it's two bands for, is that right? Is that right? I don't know. I haven't looked up the, it doesn't matter at this point because I can't change it. But um, Wow. Every two cards earns you a ban. Maybe that's why there's 12 substitutes available on the bench. We also sold, my friends, uh, 4,850 season tickets. It was the, the number fluctuated as to how many they thought we were going to sell. They kind of settled on 4,700, so we've outdone ourselves there. And I'm sure we're, we're, we're just super pleased with that. I'm sure we are. Um, we've had a bunch more uh, players come in from a trial standpoint. I don't think we've added anybody. I guess we added... Uh, I can't remember if I showed them to you. Pero Giorgio Sagia. Sagia, I think, um, as an under 20s coach, he's determined. That's what he has going for him. He's determined. Hopefully, he'll influence the squad. Um, we beat Savona, or Savonia, Savona, um, uh, in the, it was a front leg below us. So, we are getting into it today. Piancenza, I'm sorry that keeps happening during this series. I'm going to mute my phone here, lads. 
um, Piacenza, and then we're going to hop ahead and play Modena. Two massive games. Again, as a reminder, going back to the general, um, the derby with Moden Modena. Modena. Uh, Such a derby. But I I'm recording. You'll notice I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm recording a little bit in advance so I can push episodes out. Um, so if you've told me in the comments that's not how you pronounce it, I'll probably see it after this episode um, or before I record the next episode. Anyway, all that to say, my friends, let's get right freaking to it. We um, we do have to, um, because of the suspension for uh, Labuti, um, and Kirwan is still not back yet. He's still got that ankle for another week. So good thing we signed Giorgio Flacovio. Huh? Huh? He's improving. Boy, let's throw you right in to our first league game against a huge rival. Their their coach was giving me a hard time because I was like, hey, I, I approach every game, you know, the same way that I do every other game. And he's like, I can't believe he's not taking it more seriously. I think he's just trying to get under my skin. Not gonna work, man. Not gonna get not gonna get in my head. Not gonna get in my head. Um I will show you the comparison. I just we've we continue to trial players, and so I just need to stop that at some point and then show you the comparison to see what the additions to our squad and kind of what our first team is kind of settling in at. But we just started the season. Oh, I did get the option because we started the season to change the captains and uh, Rossi, and I went with Verone here because he's a little bit younger and he's got the better team than Martinelli, and I'm hoping he, that'll help him stick around. And then um, Spano down here, or Spano, Spano uh, was okay with it. He's like, yep, makes sense. I was like, we got some better players in the squad. He's like, cool. So he was good with it. Yo, know I, I tend to wait until the season actually starts to get that, um, to get that, like, the the game saying, hey, do you want to change your captain? Rather than doing it in advance, because I, I, I don't know. I just feel like if you do it in advance, they're like, whoa, 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 you haven't given him enough time versus like the game is, is queuing me up to make the change. I'm going to make the change. So this is how we line up, my friends. We have everybody on the bench. I'm not going to show you the bench every time because it's like, hey, there's the rest of the team. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. Ooh, the battle of the five three twos, my friends. Uh, let's get assertive. Um... I'm going to say, I am going to say, because it's a rivalry game. So if there's ever a time you can use this team talk, it's the rivalry game, right? I've been told that. Yes, lads. They're motivated. Now they're going to get sent off. Let's go. Let's go get sent off, shall we? Yes. Yes. Please don't get sent off. Let's go. Um, Let's put on a show. Sure. I, I'm going to regret having said that. Um, stick to the game plan. Don't get distracted. Uh, of course, I want him to play well. That is a silly question. Hey, your striker's playing well. Would you like him to continue playing well? You know, yeah, I might. A little bit, I guess. Maybe potentially like that. Um Yeah, he's good. Yeah, we're we're going to use him at left back. But, you know, if for some reason we needed him somewhere else, he can play pretty much everywhere else on the pitch. So I agree with you, sir. Um, we're playing balance. We're at home. We just want to kind of feel it out, not go too aggressive. It's kind of interesting. They're ceding possession to us, which, okay, 67%. Or no, 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 no. I get confused with the red. No, 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 no. They're, they've got the possession. It's interesting that the stats just changed. Hmm. I am going to change. I feel like this is going to be a thing that happens a lot with uh, Verone. But because it is a derby, I'm sure the referee's got his hand, like, ready on the cards. And I want to make sure that we're not, you know, um, putting ourselves in a bad spot. What was that? Spano, the former captain, is nervous. Maybe that might be why we got rid of you, mate. From a Oh, Stefano Scapini! Come on, we can't get the fans to show up for a derby. You know... You know what I'm saying? Come on. I mean, they're here, but like that whole section's empty. And on, and over here, the expensive tickets, you know, the higher price ones, the executives that buy those tickets, right? Get right on the sideline, the, the ultras. Where, where are you guys? Come on now. But we got one up on them. We put all the pressure. Even though they've got the possession, they haven't been able to do anything with it, my friends. Come on, one nil. Um, I, I'm not gonna say uh, complacency. I don't think I need to worry about complacency in this game. I could be wrong. If we start seeing a bunch of complacency in the in the feedback, I'll, you know, regret having said that. All right. Marchi, Romano, P 
pings it in. Lunata. Oh, oh, it hit the post. Just took a touch to get around the keeper. Just needed to be on target. That's why you're a wing back and not a striker, my friend. No foul. That's good. Flacovio, the young lad, comes in, chips it over to Lunato. Did it add to our shot total? It didn't look like it did. So that was a Schross, I suppose. Oh, the ratings, my friends, are not fantastic, you could argue. Um, right. I'm, I'm leaving my best squad out there. I am going to say... I, I'm not going to say anything. They're mostly motivated. Svano's killing me with his mentals. They've had seven shots, only one on target. We've had five. One on target. Scapini over the top. Oh, can't get to it. Keeper, that was good. Came off his line quickly to clear the danger. We have created a clear-cut chance. I don't think that was the goal we scored. They're building out of the back. We should have lots of players available to tear them apart. Get back there, pressing forward. Come on, press. I guess. B press backwards, not forwards. Oh, intercepted by Lunetta. The star player pings it forward. Can he get to Scapini? He does. Scapini, he's on the run. Scapini, Scapini. One-on-one. -on -one. That's a second. Is that a cl Yeah, second clear cut. Cl clear cut chance. Gone. Wanting. Lunetta pings it over. I've not done anything with set pieces. To be honest with you, Keeper has to. That was like um, Evertonian. You know? We just needed to bounce off the bar and sign Diva Carigi. Looks like some fans have... They saw all the opening over here. Or maybe this is the other end. I can't remember. It said, like, oh, I guess we'll come down. Um, right, lads. They've gone 4-3-3. Three, three. Hmm, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. I would take... We don't have anybody to take his spot is the only problem. Um, and it is a problem. He's on a 6.3. Ball in! Ooh, that was too easy. Free header, free header. Oh, do we have anybody that can take your spot? Anybody? A apparently, you could do that. I'm gonna. He's not playing well, and he is what, 18. So we're gonna bring in the 25 year old and just be like, mate, uh, just do defend. Just hang back. Let's see if that'll help us out on that side of the park. They've gone 4-3-3, three, three, my friends. We are going to make a last-minute substitution. We're going to get the yellow off, I think. Are we? He's not playing exceptionally well. Can you do a, can you do a job? Just defend, lads. Just defend. And then right at the very end, just to waste some additional time, we're going to take the apprehensive uh, center back off. Yes! Okay. I'm still getting used to the fact that they just go blah, 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 full time. No highlight. We get one over. 1-0. One at home. Kicking off the season right. Against rivals. Oh. Stefano, please, Stefano, want to stay. You know, when we get to, like, d November, I'm going to be drafting a, a contract for you. My friends, we're we're in the playoff spots. We are amazing, obviously. Um, I feel distraught. Mate, 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 have an espresso. Relax. I guess it's because you're expecting to do very well this season, but I, I can't remember, actually, what the uh, season preview said about them. Okay. To be above us by two whole spots. Moden Modena, Modena uh, expected to be 11th. I will eventually get this right. Thanks for bearing with me on that. Um, all right, my my friends, how's that? Oh, yes. I mean, it's, it's the same arrows as it was. Um, but we'll take it. We are going to hop forward. I'm going to go play some games. And we'll bring you back for the other Derby. Let's go. Of course, as soon as I close my recording software to go play the next two games... First round draw. Do we want a big team to get tickets or a mediocre sized team? Okay. I don't think there's a big team available. Okay. So let's just draw all the teams. Carpi. Relegated from City of Bay. In our league. 
expected to finish fourth. So good challenge for us on October 9th. All right, my friends, we come into the Derby with Modena in need of a win. So we, you saw us win one nil, and then we went up in the 20th minute. This free, I just want to show you this, this freak your head though. Camera going blurry on me. Set piece. Generating match report. That's good. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh, that's lovely. That was a lovely goal. Not gonna lie. Um, and then they come back and score, and it's like, okay, okay. And then it just, they got a lot of yellows. Uh, but as you can see, our I, I went to a 4-3-1-2 because once we were down two goals, it's like, we've got to score, and doing our 5-3-2 is not really working here. Um, and it just wasn't pretty. They they smashed us away from home, my friends. So we come back home, licking our wounds. Carpe is expected to be like fourth or fifth, something like that. And we walk away with a nil-nil draw, which I thought was fair. Um, we didn't really play outstandingly well, but we didn't play terribly either. It was just one of those things. It was on, on television, so great. Great. So we come into the derby away from home. Um, Nico Kirwan um, got his first two caps in New Zealand. I asked him to limit to 45 minutes because he's coming off injury, and they were they were happy to do that, my friends. Happy to do that. Um, so we need to drop him from the squad. Our goalkeeper... Back in five weeks. Two to five weeks. Again, pretty broad range. I'm just going to say, I think it's a broad range. Um, but we're sticking with it with the 5-3-2 today, I think. No, it's it's early days. It's early days. Um, from a tactic standpoint, right? Like, we're getting more familiar with it. It's just, he has not played exceptionally. 6.38, my friend. So we're actually going to drop him to being, because we're this is a derby. We're going to play him on defend. I'm putting Lun Lunetta. Lunetta on attack with Verone. I'm going to see how that works. We may have to drop him back to support. Um, just seeing if we can get somebody a little bit further forward to help out in the attacking because we have seeded a lot of possession and not really done a whole lot. So I'm hoping balanced here with four attack roles and, you know, four-ish, five defend roles and two supports enough. We'll see how it goes. It's always good, you know, to have a Darby and garage door. First time in the series, for those of you who don't know, there is a very small subset, maybe maybe a subset of one, uh, of folks on the channel that are viewers that love the, the, the Garage Door Fan Club. We're going to put out some merch for the Garage Door Fan Club. I'm going to sell one. It's going to be great. Um, as you see, it's fairly even odds. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We just got to get one over. Favelli just played in... Uh, or Fav Yeah, Favelli. Uh, just played under 20s. I, I've tried to keep these... All of these players on the bench in the under 20 and under 18s to keep their match sharpness up so we're not just like getting hammered on that but uh yeah come on come on romano and Verón. not buying it you'd think for a match of, of this reputation there'd be more fans there that's just me I've got my mentoring group set up. We've got three of them. I really, really don't like when the assistant manager sets up the groups. It's like, hey, let's put these players that are going to drag each other's determination and work rate down together. Stefano Scapini. Again, I think that's an, a sound bug. I got feedback. I, I tweeted about this today, about the sound bug. I, it's when the ball goes in the back of the net, at least for this one. Um, That is part of the highlight, so that was normal. And like everyone's like, no one plays with sound. I'm like, so I want to know from you in the comments. Do you play Foot Manager with sound? I like having the ambiance and, um, oh, oh, VAR review. Oh, he's definitely off, lads. But they missed it. Is that, is that what they're saying? Oh, harsh. Um, I, I said maybe it's the fact that I don't have a football club near me that plays that I want to get the full ambiance in the series, but I, I'm just kind of goalkeeper. What is he doing? Um, Bruce Thigh, mate. Come on, you're fine. Um, I'm, I'm generally shocked that no one plays with sound. At least none of the FM creators I, I follow on Twitter or that follow me on Twitter and responded. So, maybe it's just me. I like the ambiance. I think otherwise, I maybe maybe it's just me being nervous as a creator that I have to fill all the sound space with my voice or sound effects of some variety. So I'm like, I'm going to use the built-in sound effects. Stefano, skies that. Hits it into the empty seats to... to in, Reinforce the point that there are empty seats and there shouldn't be. 
Okay, okay, right, right, right. Please don't get sent off, lads. Yep, yep, yep. I'm looking for the report on Varun here to see, like, do we need to take him off? Oh, he's kind of balancing back and forth. What's going to happen is we're going to play him until it says not to, and then he's going to, like, come off injured for, like, six weeks. Oh, come on. You're going to call that one offside, was it? Referee. I mean, I guess we can't complain because our first goal technically was offside. I like that it showed it, even though... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a... That's a... They held their line quite well. They held their line quite well. Props to them. Um, I just think it's funny. They kind of... What was that? Was that a... Was that a Shross? This will give us a good angle, I think, actually. What is the keeper doing there? Nobody knows. He's going to come off at halftime. He's not improving. He's phys physical. Yeah, he's making mistakes. His leg hurts. He's got boo-boo. We got to get some icy hot or whatever. I don't know. What's the, what's the equivalent of icy hot in uh, in Italy? I don't know. No one knows. Um, Accardi. No, you're tired. Um, Zanini. You can... Hmm. Hmm. How about Statiti? You're a little bit better at that. You, you know it a little bit better. I don't know if you're better at it. That's concerning. And you're right-footed only. <laughs> Let's play find a player. We're going to use Zanini. Yes, we are. I sound so convinced, don't I? He's not much better. But he's really fit. So that's good in a situation such as this. Keep it going, lads. Now, the last thing we need is for you to get sent off. And I'm going to tell you, go out and make a difference. I'm going to tell you passionately, and you're not going to react. It's my favorite. Here we go. Here we go. Doing well on possession for an away leg against... Again, they're expected to be below us, but I don't care about that. The fact that we're doing all right... I'm going to regret saying those words, aren't I? Um, in in a derby, ha coming off of, you know, two game... I, I know it's not like a long thing of bad form, but, you know, when you're not doing fantastic... Ooh, I'm trying to get Lynette off because he's got a yellow. I... Uh, Oh, Lunata saves. Good thing I didn't sub him. That's the first time I've seen a highlight like that in Fault Manager 20. Player on the line. Let's go. We're going to... Hold on. Let's go forward. Let's see what happens here. Is Ion going to continue? Oh, no. Are they going to come right back down? Is all, all the excitement going to leave because we're going to concede anyway? Because that was, that was fantastic work on the line. Easy, lads. Okay, hold on. Let's go back... First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the sub. And mm, Zanini, that's why we brought Zanini. Ah, ah, ah. He's going to play defend. We're going to we're gonna release Zubuti. Um, and then we're going to take Statiti and bring him on as a central midfielder on support. Since we're going to have defense on that side. And then we're going to go back. Let's let that go through. Okay, that's gone through there. But I need this to move, please. Please. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Before that. I know this is ridiculous. I just want to go back and watch this from, this, from the corner. I'm sure there's a faster way to get where we're going. But the ball comes in. Look at that. Look at that. Lunetta, doink, clears it from the line. If that's how it works now with, with players on the line, I may actually keep it. Like I said, I haven't done anything with uh, with the corners or set pieces or anything like that. We just kind of let it ride. But that was impressive. And I'm quite thrilled, to be honest with you, if you can't tell. Switch those around. Cargo has played well as an advanced forward. He's quite pacey. I think it's like 14 acceleration. We're going to put him in. See what he can get done. Ball over the top. Oh, skims off the bar. Makes you tired nervous, lads. Don't get to do this much. We're up 2-0. We'll get a praise. 
Yes, way to go, lads. Come on. That's a weird position for our striker to be. Kind of like hanging out in their box. Like, you want to pass to a goalkeeper? Come on, come on. You want to? You want to? Scapini! Referee, throw the flag up a little faster there. Come on. What good does this do me? Apparently he was offside, but that's what I'm talking about. They got to fix that. Game over. <laughs> Come on, boys. You got to be thrilled with that. You got to be thrilled with that. A 2-0 victory against your rivals. I don't care where they're supposed to be in the league. I don't care that they're currently 18th. It's only the fourth game of the season. But my friends, that catapults us up to seventh place on seven points, a point a game. Off we go. If we do that, we'll be doing all right. I, I, get, I wish I could see, like, previous season. I guess I could look it up. Let's go do that. All right, last season, 10th place, which would be the, the last place for the playoffs, had 45 points in uh, Serie A Chi slash B, which is where we're at. Is this the correct one? Or is this all of Serie A? Oh, I was looking at A. Hold on. Let's look at our actual... I know the team's change. It was 47 points in B and 47 points in Serie A Chi slash Chi. So, roughly, if you get to 50 points, you should be feeling good. We got, we got some work to do. Um, if you enjoyed that episode, my friends, hit the like button. Yeah, go right ahead. I'm going to hop forward a little bit. I know we'll probably do, I think Padova was one of our rivals. We'll do Padova and Carpi, see if we can get some revenge. Or revenge. See if we can get a goal against. You know what I'm saying. Hit the like button, and we'll see you then. Have a good one.